good morning on this deliciously breezy morning in late fall where we welcome where I live this breeze and the cooler temperatures. There is a lot to learn from each season. We've just had, in the country I live in, the United States, a major election. I have good friends, old and new, who voted on each side of the two major parties. So what do I do? Do I agree to their choices? No, I respect them. I allow them to make the choices that they feel are right for them. Even if I can produce lots of arguments why their choice is wrong, they made that choice. They're smart, they are acting from a place of conditioning, what they did in the past often informs the present. And I will not allow their choice if it's different from my own, to affect my level of respect for them as human beings. We're all in this together. There is a very human tendency to say, I'm right, they're wrong. <laughs> This is not just about elections. It's about every choice. But are they really? I cannot live inside of their bodies, their minds and spirits. They are living from that place. And I can only support those who are deeply disappointed and deeply grieving the choice, the collective choice. And at the same time, honor the positions of those who are not grieving, both are right. From their own perspective, if we rise above right and wrong, blue and red, black and white, doesn't matter what it is, what colors, and just see a bigger picture, we can recognize good intentions on both sides, on all sides. So if you are suffering right now from the choices that the, that the collective made, then I would suggest just standing back and looking at those choices from a higher perspective. You might be surprised 
at what you see and feel.